video, I will let you know how to erase the flash memory of ESP266 and ESP32 chip using your Windows or Mac systems. Let's get started. So in my last video where I tried to control my home appliances with the help of Apple HomeKit and Siri, I showed you that you need to erase the flash memory of the ESP base board whenever you want to upload a new code in it, okay? Until and unless you don't erase the flash memory, you won't be able to pair that board again, okay? So that's one scenario. Now that's not the only scenario. You need to erase the flash memory of the ESP base board whenever you want to change the firmware from the Arduino to the Python. So before changing the firmware, you first need to erase the flash memory. So there are several scenarios where erasing the flash memory becomes mandatory. So in this video, I'll be guiding you like step by step on how to erase the flash memory of both the ESP Base 4, maybe ESP 266 or ESP 32. So let's just quickly jump on to the Mac laptop and let's first see what are the steps involved in the Mac systems. Okay, so before starting this video, let's just thank the sponsor of this video, which is the LTM, okay? So LTM is a PCB designer based software company. And if I tell you one very interesting, very unique and very, very useful feature of this software, then this software allows you to make any angle routing. Now, what does that mean and how it will be useful? So in some electronic components which have uneven and closely packed pin spacing, it's not possible to make a 45 degree path angle of the route all the time. So LTM allows you to make any angle routing paths and between the pins and in the end just make them smooth to look like one single route. Isn't that the most useful and interesting and handy feature provided by the software? I think it is and well you can also try this and many other features of the LTM PCB designer software by just clicking on the link in the description. Yes, by clicking that link you will be able to access the free trial version of the software and if you find that interesting and useful, well you can make the purchase of the software later on. So go ahead and try the free trial version of the LTM PCB designer software. So Mac systems already have the Python in it so uh, there are less steps involved in the Mac system. In the Windows you first need to install the Python. But let us stick to Mac right now so as the Python is already install you just need to uh, install one tool called as ESP tool in it and for installing that the command is pip install ESP tool so in some case uh, this command will work in some case it won't work so try using pip2 install ESP tool if this doesn't work try the next command which is pip3 install ESP tool okay in my case the last command worked and as it is already installed on my system it shows that already satisfied okay so with this command you'll be able to install the ESP tool that's a required uh, we can say tool for erasing the flash memory so that's the only thing we require onto our system now by using one single command we'll be able to erase the flash memory of the ESP32 board completely but before writing that command let us check if ESP tool is successfully installed or not for that just type the command ESP tool.py and uh, yeah if you get these many data uh, it means that ESP tool is successfully installed on your computer okay now we are ready to erase the flash memory for that just type the command ESP tool.py hyphen hyphen the chip name in my case it is ESP32 so if you want to erase the flash memory of ESP32 just write ESP32 here and if you want to erase the flash memory of node MCU board which is based on ESP266 you have to write ESP266 here okay that's the only difference for now I'll stick to ESP32 after that we have to define the port number for that uh, type hyphen hyphen port and here you have to define on which port your uh, ESP board is connected with to confirm on which port it is connected uh, let's open up the Arduino go to tools and here is the port uh, on which my ESP32 board is connected with okay so I'll type this address and uh, into that terminal okay so it is forward slash this is the port number after that you have to write one single command which is erase underscore flash okay uh, by entering this command you will be able to erase the flash memory let's just press the enter button okay so it is showing the connecting to the device so let's just press and hold the boot button and yes it has started the process of erasing the flash memory and Okay, so the flash memory is successfully erased. So if I open up the serial monitor, it will show me this command which reveals that the flash memory is completely erased. Okay, so these were the steps to be followed for Mac systems. Now for the Windows systems, what you have to do is first of all, you need to install Python on your computer. Okay, so you can install Python by going on to the official website of it. Or in some case, you have to download Python from the built in Microsoft Store. After installing Python, now you have to install the ESP tool. For that, just type this command. 
Now this will install the ESP tool on your system. Now to check if the ESP tool is installed, just type this command. Okay, so as you can see, I am getting the same data which I got in my Mac system that which reveals that the ESP tool is successfully installed. Now here, for erasing the flash memory, we will type this command. Again here the chip name will be ESP32. And here we have to define the port number. So let us go to the Arduino to confirm the port number. So after writing the port number, just type erase flash. That's it, just press enter. Now I'll press and hold the boot button on the ESP32 board and it started erasing the flash memory. After some time, as you can see, it successfully installed the complete flash memory of the ESP32 board. And if I again open the serial monitor on my Arduino IDE, as you can see, I'm getting the same command which reveals that the flash memory is completely erased. Okay, so those were the simple steps to be followed to completely erase the flash memory of your ESP266 board or the ESP32 board. Okay, so you people ask us to do it and hence we made a video for it. And similarly, do let us know what more topics you want us to make video about. I will definitely try to make that video for you people. Now, if you learned something new from it, if you get some value out of this video, consider liking this video, share the video with all your friends who are stuck uh, with this particular point of erasing the flash memory of the ESP based board. That being said, just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video to explore, learn, share with me. Techie SMS.